And I'm not going to bore you, but I went back to the Hebrew on this because I was a little bit curious. Now, look, I don't know any Hebrew. I know a little Greek, right? He's about this tall. He owns a pizza shop right around the corner <laughs> from my house, right? But when you go back to the Hebrew, I, dis I discovered something very interesting. And I'm not even going to tell you how to say it because I would probably say it wrong. But when he says whore in this passage in the Hebrew, it's the same word as sodomite. The devil's going to try to use one of these whores, a Deuteronomy 23 whore. Well, what is that? It's a sodomite. It's a reprobate. It's a child of the devil. And look, when you see a whorish woman, you just need to think in your mind, that is a reprobate. Listen, some whores are worthy of death just as much as a reprobate. Right? It's, hey, we can get an amen by saying we should put the sodomites to death. What about these filthy whores that are training up our children? You see them on the magazine covers. And listen, it doesn't have to be pornography that you need to have a very serious attitude to hate the whoredoms and know that there are whores that are on par, that are equivalent with a sodomite. Hey, they're worthy of death, just like a sodomite. Settle it in your heart right now that you're going to hate the whores, that a sodomite is a wicked thing, a sodomite should be put to death. Hey, but the Bible says the whore is also worthy of death. Chapter 16 of Matthew about Peter, right? Jesus tells him he needs to be converted. Well, I thought Peter was saved. And listen, it was funny because somebody just asked me about the controversy about hell before the service. Peter was saved under the old covenant, and Jesus said, yet you still need to be converted. Right? Jesus, while he was alive, said, the new covenant is not yet available to you, but when it is, and you hear it, and you believe it, you'll be converted, you're saved, you'll have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. But I believe maybe he was saved under the old covenant, if you will. But as far as now that Jesus had finished the new covenant, he had to be saved under the new covenant. I believe it's possible under the old covenant, as a man that was exercising holiness and seeking God, that God's Spirit had came on him and he prophesied boldly in the past, but he still had to be saved under the new covenant. Things were changing as this was being written. To repeat it back, they have to be able, you can, you know, I, I always try to, I say I talk them out of it. I try to talk them out of their, their soul winning. And, and what I mean is, you know, first of all, you know, you go to the door and 90% of the people would already claim to be a Christian. Well, guess what? They're not. Right. And you have to talk them out of it. Then you give them the truth and then you talk them out of it again to test them to see whether or not they believe it. And then when I get to the point where I feel comfortable, like they're getting it, they're, they have the right answers, then I'm going to try to talk them out of it. Do you really believe that? There's a man with his shirt off, he's naked, 